Hi, this is Bajimax. Welcome to the part two of uh, using MATLAB neural network uh, in C# -sharp application. Uh, those who have missed part one, you can view the same in my blog www.bajimax.blogspot.com. In last uh, screencast, uh, we have created um, a XOR net using MATLAB neural network toolbox, and we have saved the same in local drive. And uh, you can see here sample XORnet uh, math workspace. Now, in today's screencast, we are going to write uh, a wrapper function around a sim simulate or sim function, which is basically uh, simulates the network. And we convert uh, that algorithm to a .NET callable assembly and call the same from C# -sharp application and we'll discuss the problem with that approach and we'll uh, also uh, uh, discuss the uh, solution to get around with that problem so let's begin so you can see uh, here I have already wrote an M file its uh, function name is my net and it accepts an input and it's load uh, the um, example uh, exonet workspace and um, simulate the uh, XOR underscore net and the uh, with the uh, inputs and returns the results so let's uh, first try this uh, function from MATLAB whether it works or not accepts uh, two parameters on uh, um, one parameter input just try with the one zero just see oh. okay the answer is one now let's try with the uh, one one zero zero so we got the result so it's working fine now we'll convert uh, this m file to a dot net call up assembly so using a deploy tool those who are not familiar with deploy tool I would suggest to go through my uh, screencast uh, developing financial application using dot net and MATLAB which will uh, give a fair idea about how to use the uh, deploy tool to convert an M code to a .NET callable assembly. Uh, let's go and type deploy tool. Full screen. Now create a project that's MATLAB builder for .NET. Just say text test XOR so we have created a project now add the algorithm or the M file that we want to convert it is um, my XOR net dot M now project settings dot net framework I'm going to use the 2.0 and click OK now build the project now the compilation is completed here so let's go and check uh, the folder so here is our XOR and the distrib folder now you can see here it's a test XOR.dll is created so we are going to use that assembly in our C sharp application let me open the visual studio first uh, we have to uh, add the reference to test XOR.dll let me add the reference let me open sample test XOR distrib and the test XOR.dll now we have added that test XOR to our project Let's uh, use the namespace using this 
stack so on. Now um, I have code snippet which uh, basically calls the uh, function my x or not net. I don't want to uh, type all those things, so I have just copy the code snippet from here, which I have already wrote. So you can see here, I created a test XOR class object and uh, so I prepared an input uh, 0 0. First, I'm going to try input 0 0, and uh, there is an input and an output, and the, the signature uh, accepts uh, three parameters which the first one is the um, args out which is nothing but uh, the number of our output we are expecting which is one in our case so i'm passing a reference output and the input and uh, printing that output in a text box you can see here design so i have here a, a text box and a button so on button click uh, we are just invoking the uh, MATLAB algorithm and uh, simulating uh, our network to get the results. So if anything exception happens, we are just assigning the exception uh, uh, to the uh, text property of the text box. Let's go and build this uh, application. So here we'll just click uh, sim button which basically uh, passes 0, 0 to our uh, MATLAB converted uh, assembly, .NET assembly, which will in turn uh, invoke our sim function and uh, get the uh, desired result. So instead of the result, um, we got something like a system application exception and MWMCR evaluate function error undefined function or method sim um, uh, for input arguments of the type struct. The problem with this approach is that deploy tool um, doesn't support the sim function. It's a limitation of deploy tool um, in the version which I have using 7.4.0. I don't know what the latest version whether supports the sim function or not, uh, but there is a workaround for uh, uh, to get around with the sim function. Let's discuss that workaround and uh, see the actual results. Let me uh, close this uh, 